Hi, I'm Chef Tammy Brawley from The Green Kitchen. On today's Heart of the Home episode, we are going to do mushroom bisque. I absolutely love this recipe, very rich in flavor, and we're gonna start with some butter in our pan that we'll turn on. When the butter melts, we're actually going to add some chopped shallots and some thyme. Um, I find it very interesting that recipes that call for fresh thyme, they say to chop it first. I really don't see the ne necessity in that. One, because the leaves are so small. But two, I know I'm going to run an immersion blender or a stick blender through this, and it will chop it up even better. So I'm not really worried about chopping that thyme, no matter what the recipe says. What I've done here is I've actually chopped up some plain um, mushrooms here, uh, button mushrooms as they're called, but you can use any mushroom you choose. If you choose to use dried mushrooms, which will give you a much richer flavor, I would rehydrate those perhaps in a beef or a chicken broth, and then when they're soft, you can continue on with the remaining part of the recipe. So right now what we've got is a pan with um, butter that is melting. I'm just going to kind of run a uh, ladle through here to help that melt. We're going to saute the shallots and the thyme together. Once the shallots are soft, we're going to come back and add those mushrooms. Whenever you're scraping things off of your board, I love to give people this little bit of advice. Always turn your knife over to the dull or blunt side. It saves wear and tear on your knife, but it also saves wear and tear on your cutting boards. So we've scraped our shallots and our thyme into the pot. You can use um, an olive oil if you choose to in this. I personally just like to do butter. I love the way the butter reacts with the mushrooms. All right, so our shallots have become um, somewhat soft, and that's what I was looking for. Now I'm going to add the chopped mushrooms. They are going to cook a little bit, and they're actually going to release quite a bit of water. One of the things um, when you work with fresh mushrooms, if you're going to be sauteing them or even roasting them, you would want to wipe their dirt off with a wet paper towel. But in a soup, because we're going to be pureeing it with broth and sherry, it would be perfectly fine to rinse them off in a colander. All right, so our mushrooms are in. We're going to stir those around and we're going to let these go for probably about five minutes or so until they release most of their water, if not all. All right, so our mushrooms have released the water and they are somewhat soft at this point. Now we're going to come back and we're going to add some dry sherry, which gives it that nice rich flavor and some chicken stock. We're going to do about a quarter of a cup of sherry. And yes, you did see me use a ladle, all right? This is a four ounce ladle, or a two ounce ladle, excuse me, and that is a quarter of a cup. So it's a perfect measure as well. We've got some chicken stock as well. Oh yeah. And we're gonna add a little salt and pepper, and we're gonna let this simmer for about three to five minutes or so. Alright, so our mushrooms have been simmering with uh, sherry and chicken stock. We're now going to come back and we're going to puree them. I'm going to use a stick blender, and I realize a lot of people may not have one of these, but these are great. You could use a blender, a regular blender, but you want to be very, very careful when you're pureeing hot liquids into a regular blender. If we were to pretend for a moment that I had one, you would want to take the piece of plastic off of the top of the lid, and you would want to put a towel over the top, a tea towel or a dish towel, and you want to pulse what you are pureeing because the heat develops pressure, builds up pressure, and you could actually explode that top off if you weren't securing it with a towel. This is why I invested in a stick blender. I think it's great. Plus, I don't have to take things out of a pot into the blender, back into a, a pot or a bowl or such. We're actually going to puree it right in the pot here. So we have a stick blender and we're going to turn it on. <laughs> A bisque is typically pureed, and that's what we want to do here. We want to get this pureed. If you were more of a fan of a chunky soup, there's nothing wrong with that, then just don't puree it th um, all the way. Now it's 
pureed pretty well. Now I'm going to come back with some um, half and half. You could use regular milk if you choose. You can use heavy cream. Um, heavy cream is going to give it a much richer flavor. Half and half, obviously, half milk, half cream. <laughs> Turn my heat off. All right, and there you have it, mushroom bisque. I'm Tammy Brawley with The Green Kitchen. Join us next time on Heart of the Home. Recipes from the heart of the home can be found on the Virginia Farm Bureau website at vafb.com slash recipes, as well as on Chef Tammy Brawley's website at greenkitchenrichmond.com.